Hey everyone, I'm here, uh, CEO of Scopio, here to do a 2020 recap of everything that has happened this year, which has been a wild ride, as you know, but we have focused uh, in on what we can do to help and how we can grow uh, Scopio in this wild world that we live in, and I'm here to just round that up for you so that you know what you have uh, achieved and what we can look forward to to next year. And hopefully it will put a smile on your face and realize uh, how much we've been able to do despite all the obstacles around the world. So we started the year with something very exciting. We made Forbes 30 under 30 and opened NASDAQ. We got it for our mission to make stock photography more diverse, affordable, and uh, authentic. And we actually got chosen by Melissa Bell, Don Lemon from CNN, Hernan Lopez, and Kim Patel. So in the words of Jay-Z, popping up on Forbes list, gorgeous, hold up. And it was so, like such a surprise and really has changed so many opportunities for us. Um, and so like awesome on that. I just want people to know that if that seems out of reach for anyone, um, it's not. And hard work really gets you to places you would not even imagine like that. Um, and I remember when it happened, somebody had told me years and years and years before, and he said, one day I'm gonna see you on Forbes. And I was like, yeah, right, that will never happen. But it did, and um, it didn't happen 30 years later, it only happened a few years later. So, um, you know, keep focused and try to add value as much as you can to the world and see what the world gives you back. Uh, on that note, uh, we have done some other amazing things this year, thanks to our community. Uh, we have been an original member of Chief, a private network with access to the most successful women in coaching, and met people like Gail King, who have improved our worldview and understanding on how we can help more people around the world and bring more opportunities and revenue for artists that otherwise go unnoticed. We've judged. George Washington University startup competition in tech and give away thousands of dollars in cash prizes to new startup ideas, as well as a case study at Columbia Business School that uh, we ran in the digital marketing course uh, for their students, for their MBAs. When COVID hit, we wanted to see how we could help and we realized that photos really made people happy and one of the most affected populations at the time were elderly care facilities uh, and so we thought, how can we help these? And reached out to Shutterfly, who was gracious enough to help us donate 20,000 prints to nursing homes across New York. We got to pick the fabulous photos and they were awesome enough to print them and distribute them to many people that were losing their lives every day and all their friends around them. So those photos they got of palm trees, dogs, cute families, some fun food ones, and we hope it brightened up their day. Right after that, a lot of other things happened. We thought that was the end of it, but it wasn't. Um, we raised over $15,000 for Lebanon after the deadly explosion that devastated the city and made a docu-series about it, documenting uh, the architectural destruction in specific, which we thought was really important for people to see how beautiful that city is. And uh, donations were given to Atfaluna. What we ended up giving was a one month supply of milk and diapers to 553 babies across the country uh, and also partnered with uh, Agna Legna, sorry for butchering these, to support migrant workers who uh, were in homeless shelters with essential food and medication uh, that the government forgot about and their governments kind of did too. So the, the money that you had helped donate went a really long way and we uh, thank you for that jumping in and our amazing community, we did that all on Instagram. After that very devastating uh, event, uh, of course the Black Lives Matter movement happened and if anybody knows anything about Scopio, it's that we started off finding and distributing images from protests uh, about seven years ago now. Uh, it was called Protestify at the time and uh, we believe that these images should not be stuck on social media. They should make their ways to newsrooms and websites and just stored, basically saved, uh, and not get lost. So this was a really important time for us to bring that heart and spirit back of the company. And uh, we were able to do a lot with that um, and really help our 
and be an ally as much as we can. So we partnered with our blog photographers on a BLM docu-series and we got published, their images published in music videos, apps, museums and books and distributed uh, printed t-shirts and supported the proceeds for our artists. So once we just got going, more opportunities presented themselves and we still want to help as much as we can. So if you have any illustrations or photos uh, that you want off your phone, off your camera, into the world to be saved for all of history, um, you always have a place at Scopio slash Submit. We also are publishing a 2020 book with a top five publisher that will document all of history for this year. So we'll have images from COVID, from Black Lives Matter, from world events, uh, uh, uprisings against governments all over the world, and uh, even just the personal stories of two people you know, together fighting, uh, fighting this pandemic and trying to make uh, their lives as happy and blessed and safe as possible. So that book will be distributed in Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, and uh, we're so excited to have another place where our artists can have their photos um, really used and valued and contributing uh, because I know that's what's important for our community. They want to not just, of course, sell their images, which is great, but also contribute to um, making the world a better place. And Scopio's place is to help you find opportunities for that where maybe other people are not, are overlooking you or they don't think, you know, because you're not in a major city or something in the United States that um, they can't find you. So we're here to leverage you. Another great thing that we did, which was really interesting, was we piloted with Google on license this image feature and Google Images backtracking all of our images online for anyone to purchase. This is a new feature on Google that basically uh, shows who the owner of the image is. So if somebody's using your, a photo in a blog post or a website, uh, you'll be able to click on that and say license this image and then it will take you back to the source. So a few photo sites uh, participated and we were lucky to be one of them, so small but mighty, and uh, they finally got it launched. So uh, kudos to that and I hope it gets more uh, eyeballs on your images. So uh, in terms of other businesses that we've been able to work with, so we've got contracts including the biggest sites and publishers online and offline in partner apps like Zed, which is a wallpaper app with 35 million users, Canva, which has hundreds of millions of users, and Facebook, uh, and templates where people can go and use Scopio images there and they can really get used in a much more a dynamic way because of those big user bases. But of course we love when people come and visit our website and we're able to you know, have the reach there with photographers of 150 countries and customers from over 70 countries that search and download your images. So having a global photographer base is just as important to us as the people coming to use your images and you'd be surprised how difficult local photography is and local art and everyone's trying to tell their story, build their business, tell their dreams and how can they do that without uh, visuals that help them tell those stories um, and because of you they're able to do that so don't ever forget the true meaning of why you're, you're photographing why you're, you're sharing because it really is a reflection of everything that's happening around you okay so some of our partners are some people that have used your images we have uh, NASA Google American Medical Association Vice Shopify Cornell Office Depot Taste of Thailand uh, Shopify, Instagram, Airbnb, Operation Preserve Canada, Amplify Black Stories, New York Partners in Health, Texas Early Music Project, Hinsdale South High School, Boston University, Association of Healthcare Journalists, Bulgarian Football Union, Ogden School District, Kaiser Permanente, Marriott, Animal Rescue, Rhode Island, YMCA, TLC, Oxford, Kaiser, All 40 Inc., Merriam Webster, and Institute of Child Psychology. So. If that's not the biggest range ever, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, so people are on, they're looking for valuable, of course, interesting images, and we're happy to support these stories, especially when they talk about meaningful ones. And I saw a huge difference when COVID hit in the education sector between teachers and professors, early education that were looking for images to help engage their audiences and, um, so that has been quite a like an experience to see everybody scramble to try to be better than 
just the basic of what has been given to us uh, in this transition phase. So everyone's had to step up and uh, tell their own stories, be their own storyteller. And uh, I think more and more of next year, we'll start to see the importance of personal storytelling, business storytelling, but you can't really get by with just kind of doing what is the usual. You have to really stand out. So hopefully those Scopio images help tell those stories better and uh, got people excited and interested. We launched our long, super long awaited photographer portal. I remember thinking about this portal years and years ago and um, it's been quite a journey to get here. But we launched it last month and it's a place where image contributors can share their work. They, you get paid, you find partnership opportunities, you see your statistics like downloads, views, saves and your earnings that you can cash out from PayPal right into your dashboard. Um, you get exclusive access to perks like photography equipment, courses, editing tools, which I'll talk about. And of course the goal is to, you know, become better, get more new opportunities, be a part of a network that supports you, that allows you to take risks um, so you can learn. For example, one of our photographers is a photographer in Libya and he planned a whole uh, festival for photography and everyone told him that he was uh, against him and they made fun of him and they thought this was stupid and because they incorporated their local dress and they despite all of those um, online bullying which I think it is um, they did it and uh, they had a huge success and celebrated their culture had these beautiful images that really show the history of where he is because not many people have seen that and uh, because of that we have other photographers around the world that also did the same so this is what Scopio is really trying to achieve is by giving you these examples, by having people have a platform where they can um, talk about some of the things they're doing, even if they're small things like that, they really get used around the world in different ways. So you have a lot of tips um, and ideas and uh, new concepts that you could play with. So um, in that vein, we launched a podcast called The Authentic Photographer. We have a YouTube channel and a Slack community where you can talk to people, where you can listen to new ideas, where you can learn about other photographers and how they manage their businesses, how they make money, uh, how they get customers, how they focus on the projects that they want to focus on. So if you ever feel like down or you're like lost, you should definitely listen to them and they'll provide you with a lot of direction and ideas and hopefully be a good pick me up for you. So we had, again, photographers from Costa Rica to native people on native land, from Libya to Mexico, um, all over the world, uh, telling about their communities and what they're trying to do. Even ones about helping nonprofits uh, grow their businesses. So, okay, into more fun statistic. We grew this year a community of 13,000 photographers that have submitted more than 320,000 images. They have photographed more than 7,000 unique and diverse people, and our growth rate is 366% per month. Our community has talents in video, design, illustration, and art, which, which we find future opportunities for in addition to photography. The more we get to know you, the more we know where you live, the more we can help find you opportunities. We made deals and discounts especially for you when things got really tough with COVID, with Adobe Spark, sites like Canva, you, where you can access the perks just by logging into your portal that we add every day. So you can go in and start to play with different tools and improve yourself without that big burden cost or at least a little bit reducing it. Um, we hit our highest submission rate of 15,000 images a day. You guys are incredible and you are like every day I get excited about seeing the new content and uh, the new talent. and. Uh, we hope to have this reach every corner of the world so that we can see these brilliant photos from wherever you are and really give access to people to see the world because we believe that the more they see, the more they uh, will be understanding and the better place that the world will be because, um, you know, people are just fearing what they don't know what they can't. So, um, our top 10 photographers alone got more than 8.5 million views on their images this year. That is 10 people that got 8.5 million views. So we have imagine 13,000 people. The, and uh, 
So you should log in, check it out. You can see all your views. We send you a report every week about um, how many views are on your images, but just think about the impressions that are visiting your photos. That's a lot of people coming. And that's why we made Scopio an open platform so anybody can search and discover content so that we could, again, add value to um, people's thinking to their discovery process. So back to our site. So we said the 10 photographers made 8.5 million views in 2020 on their images and people searched 800,008 unique searches on Scopio. That means people are searching dog, woman, animal, COVID, healthcare, education, books, kids, literally anything you could name, uh, we're, we have it. And, uh, and so we've learned a lot from what people want. And this year has been crazy in terms of the change of what people have been searching for, especially around healthcare, kids, um, education, and working from home, which has been a really big challenge for a lot of people, but also an opportunity um, as well. So we have images of people on Zoom calls and check it out if you're looking for that kind of content or you want ideas on what you can create. So despite a massive economic slowdown, people obviously needed to go online and they need to build their pages, they need to tell, build their businesses online. It's like the only really option. So we were lucky enough to grow from 8,600 subscribers in January to 20,000 subscribers um, now by end of year. So uh, thank you for all those people that are on, that are searching, that are saving, that are using these images, supporting artists, uh, instead of going to the you know, other options, or I hope you're just there um, loving the product. And if you have any suggestions, we're always open ears to it. So next year we'll get to a million with your help. Um, we went from 66,000 downloads in January to 273,000 downloads. So these images are getting, you know, they're getting used, they're getting seen. And um, we're, again, with things like the Google license feature, uh, we're excited for them to make their way across the web uh, and to websites, blogs, presentations, videos, ads, books. We also wanted to participate in the offline world. We mentioned that we're publishing our first book and we're gonna be the editors of it. And uh, we also got a museum partnership to run our first gallery, which maybe we'll have drone footage across the gallery so people can see it online. And this will be about 2020 COVID events and the explosions in Lebanon. So people can tune in or they can visit the gallery and they can see these images and these prints again will be given to the artists as uh, more sources of revenue. So if you have any content or you know of anyone that has captured something significant, please make sure that you tell them to submit it to Scopio and we'll do our best to get it in the hands of those that really have the bigger um, platforms to have more people to see, see it because you know, your 20 friends on Instagram are not gonna are not gonna cut it, you know? So, <laughs> I mean, it's nice when they like it, but just remember that uh, they get stuck there. So uh, that's our goal is to move them to places where people can really see them and uh, appreciate them and they can be um, used for a long time. We also have some custom projects that we have gotten with really big sites like Shopify, Facebook, Vice, um, and book publishers that are really changing stereotypes on subjects like China, COVID, black female photographers, women in business. So if you're looking for uh, ways to participate, always check out Scopio in the perks section or follow our Instagram uh, and we'll let you know when these opportunities arise. They go pretty fast, but it's so easy. You just go and you submit your images and you write what it's for and then we can consider it. Um, and then, you know, they get to see it in any case, like we're showing it to them. So even if you feel like, you know, you're not, you're not as strong or at, like, I know, don't have that feeling, just definitely participate. Um, and we hope to get you more of that. So make sure your artist pages are bubbling. You have all the content that you want there. So don't keep them 10 photos each, like try to get a hundred or more on your pages and uh, like I'll give you an idea our top 10 photographers I think they almost have 
they have more than 500 photos per their page. So people can keep looking at their images and that's why they're able to get that many views. So if you feel like, oh, I don't, nobody likes my stuff, it's probably just because you don't have enough up there and we're not able to put them in different collections um, and then promote them through our email or social media. People can't see them on our home pages. I wanna just thank our team. We have grown to a team of 18 um, during COVID and everyone has been working very hard uh, to leverage your content, your stories, um, and really like bring you to life. So uh, I hope you have noticed that and uh, if you have any ideas, let us know. But again, the idea for the 2020 recap is that next year, uh, you know, everything will be 10 times bigger, 20 times bigger, and uh, we'll be able to do so much more for you. So have a blessed and happy holiday season. Thank you again for being a part of our family and our community and uh, stay strong. And the more effort you put in, the more you get out in life. So just remember that don't feel defeated by the world and focus on your art and your craft. And um, so many of you are doing that. And if you need a support system, we are here for you. You can check us out here. You can check us out on um, our podcast, our YouTube channel. You can join our Slack community um, and, uh, and keep doing great things.